report a segment of impact where we spotlight special events and organizations that are making a difference in the capital region. This week, we're spotlighting the Schenectady County Working Group on Girls Program with my guests, Joanne Tobison and Ebony Belmar. Thank you for being a part of our show today. Good to be here. Okay. Thank now, you for including us. I must ask you ladies whether or not you're from this area or you're a transplant to the area. I was a transplant in 1970. Ooh, so you're basically now a full, yes. full on resident. <laughs> you're right. Yes, how about you, Ebony? I am a transplant. I'm originally from Costa Rica. Wow, <laughs> I would never imagine that. <laughs> Wonderful, so what brought you to the capital region? My brother, okay. we lived in New York City for a while and he thought Schenectady would be a quieter place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you find that a lot, you find that a lot. Yes. Okay, yes. now let's get right into the crux of why we're here today and to talk about this wonderful program that you have. Now you just, um, before we talk about the event that we just took place a couple days ago, talk to me about how this program got started. It was about 10 years ago, I attended a, uh, a convention in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. for the League of Women Voters nationwide. And I heard this woman speak there about an international working group on girls. Mm -hmm under the UN, under UNICEF, that advocates on behalf of girls worldwide when they have their uh, women's conventions under the UN. And I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do something at Schenectady that focused on girls and, mm -hmm. and looked at the issues girls faced here? So we pulled together representatives from a number of different organizations that work with and care about girls, Girl Scouts, Girls Inc., Boys and Girls Club, and other organizations that work with girls and care about girls the, under the League of Women Voters, the AAUW, the uh, Planned Parenthood, the uh, Parents and Families and Friends of Lesbians and Gays and Transgenders. Mm -hmm. We have representatives from all these different groups on a planning committee, and we started putting on workshops community forums to educate the community about girls needs locally mm -hmm. and we realized after some of our programs brought out the issue of bullying mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the schools that that was really important and yes. we wanted to be of more direct support to the girls and yet we're not a service organization we're a planning committee and so we uh, we just we added to our mission statement working together to put the spotlight on girls, facilitate programs on their behalf, mm -hmm. and educate the community about their needs, challenges, opportunities, and successes. And with that in mind then, we started a program that we have just completed the fourth year for, mm -hmm. of Girls' Day Out at the Glenn Sanders Mansion, where 150 city school seventh grade girls come for a day's program. Delicious food, mm -hmm. wonderful great people, <laughs> great atmosphere, and workshops in the morning that uh, talk about developing their relationship skills, uh, such as uh, can we talk? Parents just don't understand me. Yes. Or uh, frenemies, enemies, and best friends. Mm -hmm. Or um, relationships. relationships. I'm all With good about dealing with stress, the relationships, career choices. the career choices. So we have these morning workshops that they can choose two out of six. Yummy lunch, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. they love. And then we have in the afternoon these arts expression workshops that are um, drumming, dance and hip hop, singing, Excellent. storytelling. And then they come back to a, a, the ballroom and they each share a segment of what they've done. Mm -hmm. And they love that. Yes. Now, I must give you, um, before I go back to um, talk to Ebony a little bit, the reason why we're doing this show is because one of the mentors was so, two of them actually talked to me and said, you need to spotlight this program because they, the thing, and what I loved about them, these women were so passionate about the fact that they got the opportunity to serve and to help young women. It was so amazing to see the passion, the energy, and the mm. joy yes. that they gained yes. from working and doing this stuff. And I mean, I was just amazed. And I, I got to see that in action at the closing ceremony that you just mm. had here in uh, Schenectady High School, which you, Miss Ebony, was the host. Now tell me about your role in this program. 
Well, I joined, I don't know how many years after. Maybe, I think I've been with the working group on girls for about five years. Oh, probably longer. Maybe <laughs> longer. <laughs> One I'll, of our founding mm -hmm. mothers. That's, oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your question was my, my role. Mm -hmm. I, I think primarily I'm the school district representative. Mm -hmm. um, um, mm -hmm. I've been amused. I am a member of the um, WGG and uh, a clinician um, from the school district. And I think what I've been able to do is really help with the connecting of the girls with this awesome group that really, they, we really do care a lot about what happens. Yes. And I get the joy of hearing the results from the girls about mm -hmm. who are these ladies who come and yes. do all these things for mm -hmm. us. Because as girls, they need to see models. You know, we're yes. all models for the, the, those that are behind us. And mm -hmm. those, some of us, you know, who are in front of us, we can be models too. Yeah. Now, how many schools are involved? All the schools that have seventh grade. So right now, I think we are at five, okay. six, mm -hmm. five or six mm -hmm. um, schools. So Excellent. all our seventh grade girls have an opportunity to go to Girls Day Out, mm -hmm. and then all the girls from seventh grade forward have an opportunity to be part of Girls Circle. So when, when you talk about in school, are they meeting once a week, twice a week? When are they meeting up with their mentors and having mm -hmm. meetings? Our girls' circles happen twice uh, a month, approximately, mm -hmm. and the muses come in. We have two muses that, muses are the w women who volunteer their time to come and run mm -hmm. the girls' circles. Mm -hmm. There are approximately maybe 10 to 12 girls in each circle, mm -hmm. some maybe a little less. Yeah. We start out strong, but then there are a lot of distractions. Mm -hmm. But um, they meet twice a month mm -hmm. and uh, during lunch and some after school. Pro um, I think we have after school in most of our opportunities in, in the majority of our schools, not all. So during lunch and after school, they come. Yes, mm -hmm. and I mean, one of the things, I, another thing that I saw there was the result of what you guys yeah. do. It's you know, awesome. it's good to plant a seed, but to see the harvest of it, mm -hmm. it's so wonderful. You know, um, we were talking before about the film Girl Rising. Yes. And I feel as though when I was there at the event, it was Girls Rising. Oh, you know? that's a great yes, yes, it really was. It was Girls yes. Rising because, I You're mean, so we right. have one testimony from um, Tamara uh, Bowden. Mm -hmm. um, and it was so wonderful. Here you had a young lady who, when she looked in the mirror, didn't see anything good about herself. Mm -hmm. She joins the program and she saw self esteem, she gained self esteem. Self -esteem. Now she has a path of becoming a teacher mm -hmm. and, and, and realizes that there is more to life than middle school. Girls Circle has inspired me for the past two years. I have learned a lot from Girls Circle. I learned that violence is never the answer to anything. If someone comes up and smacks you, that doesn't give you the right to smack them back. Girls Circle also showed me that I don't need to doubt myself every time I look in the mirror. Before I came to Girls Circle last year, I felt like I was nothing. But now I'm happy to say that everyone has a voice. Yeah. Like me, I used to put myself in all the time. I used to tell myself, you're worth nothing. I don't like you. I wish I was somebody else. But you know what? If you put yourself down, everyone is going to do the same thing. But thanks to Girl Circle, I realized I'm proud of who I am. I wouldn't want to change anything about me. Yeah. Yeah. What I loved is what she said was everybody has a voice. Yes. yes. That she realized that we all have a voice. And I love that about that. That mm -hmm. when, when we begin, I did that. And that's where you see the rising. Yeah. You know, to say, I can contribute and I can become right. something. You know. To make a difference. Yes. Uh, our theme changes each year. And um, we try to get the message that you can make a difference. Mm -hmm. You're part of change. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone could have expressed it better than she did. Th that's our purpose to have each girl because the middle school years are difficult they are extremely difficult and and our girls some don't survive the way we would like them to whether it's the bullying stops them from coming or the low self-esteem causes them to make poor choices mm -hmm. we just want them to know there's hope yeah that it does get better and I specifically love the two young lady that were bold enough to come up and sing and you know, I saw this little girl <laughs> popping and doing her dance. And I thought, how brave. I was so proud of them mm -hmm. because, you know, at that age, many times they don't want to be the speed, have the spotlight be mm -hmm. upon them. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, and I think when, once they see other women who are, who are able to stand in mm -hmm. their life and stand in who they are, it gives them the courage yes. to say, I can do That's the same it. thing too.
you know, and I think that's wonderful. Right. Sometimes those are turning points mm -hmm. yeah. so that they never, you know, have to go back to that quiet place. I've got my voice, I'm using it now. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, um, I know this event, this, this, this is, do you do anything over the summer? We're hoping this summer, to, we I have plans to do some programs at the library mm -hmm. for the girls and any other girls that are interested in coming okay. called Girl Talk and that will be advertised uh, mm -hmm. and will be in July, a okay. couple of sessions. Mm -hmm. So that's something new for us. We're always expanding. We're, we're, as one of our members says, we're always building the car as we drive it down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always tweaking and trying to improve things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that will be happening this summer. And then in the fall, we'll be recruiting women, community volunteers again, to be muses for the coming year mm -hmm. with these girls' circles. So there's the girls' day out for the mm -hmm. seventh graders, and then as Ebony has said, mm -hmm. seventh, eighth, ninth, it goes on into high school. There are girls' circles mm -hmm. that start in the winter and run into the spring. Okay. And they, uh, the muses are trained, they're given training, and so we're going to do a, an information session about what our year's event. program is. Yes, yes. and right. when is this event? And this is on Wednesday, May 22nd mm -hmm. at the First Reformed Church in Assembly Hall okay. in mm -hmm. the Stockade at mm -hmm. 7 p.m. And so you're looking for teachers or whoever? The mothers, grandmothers, Everything. friends, all yes. females. We want yes. diversity in age, ethnicity, race, mm -hmm. experience, we, if you, if you are a female, we're interested. 18 and over? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're interested because the girls yeah. are diverse and mm -hmm. they have a range of desires, needs, and dreams. So we want, you know, them to, that to be reflected in the music. Wonderful. So what yeah. is that event? Okay, so um, you have this event on Wednesday and basically are they just, this is an information session for them to just come and to know what your group is about? Right, for the community. Okay. So um, it's a chance to hear what we've been doing, to ask questions, mm -hmm. to hear where we're going, and to hear from the, some of the participants. So mm -hmm. some of the very participants that ah. you saw mm -hmm. will, be part, will be speaking at this community forum as well. Okay. We're and hoping to get the students there and mm -hmm. uh, amuse and mm -hmm. uh, clinicians there too to talk about this. All right, so what time is this? 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m.? Probably okay. 7 to 8.30. Right. And if they need to call you, is there registration that needs to be done or you just show up? Show up. Okay. It's, <laughs> open, it's open to everyone it, it, and there will be refreshments. It's open mm -hmm. to the community. Okay. And on that flyer, uh, there's my name and also our website is on there. If they need to contact you uh, before this event, how can they get a hold of you? So they could uh, give me a phone call mm -hmm. at 393-0477. Okay or they could email me and put news in the subject line at jtobeson mm -hmm. at hotmail.com. Okay. Now, before we close, I always want to ask, uh, I always ask my groups um, about funding mm -hmm. because that's a big thing. You know, every group needs or, or is always mm -hmm. um, in need of funding besides the human resources. So how are you guys, how is this group funded? Well, we have foundation grants. Mm -hmm. We have uh, sometimes some corporate grants. We have individuals who contribute. Okay. So it's a, it's a wide range. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to get to the part of the individuals because there are people who might be watching yes. and they may not have the time to uh, invest in this, but they may have the resources financially. And um, so how, if again, this is the way that they, if they want to do that, they're, you are open to receiving. Uh, absolutely, them. we'd be delighted yeah. to hear from them. So <laughs> have them please call us <laughs> okay. or email me, mm -hmm. uh, we would be delighted. Or come to the uh, community forum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, they, they have the number that Joanne gave, if you call, mm -hmm. we'll con connect you to our awesome fundraiser, right. <laughs> Julia, okay. um, who's done all, most of the work, all of the work to get this going. And it's not inexpensive. Our girls are very needy in, in a lot of different ways. And Joanne is being humble about it, but the things that, at Girls Day Out, the girls receive a backpack with um, different little articles that g interest girls, the um, journals. Mm -hmm. 
So if you would like to help, we will absolutely accept it. Um, and we need muses and yes. any support that they can give. Now finally, let's talk about, um, you know, we, we see the results in the kids, but let's talk about, because one of the things we, you know, in our country right now, there's so many single parents right now. Mm -hmm. And our girls are, you know, they want to, they're looking for models. They mm -hmm. can't oftentimes find it at home. Um, so what are some of the re uh, response that you've gotten from parents? Um, we had a grandmother speak at the ceremony, and I think it's, it reflects a lot of what I've heard. Mm -hmm. You've changed her life. As you know, my name is Iris Williams, and I am the grandmother to Sarai Williams. And I want to say to the muses, kudos. Excellent. Give yourselves a hand. Thank for yourself. Thank for yourself. You have a wonderful job with our young ladies of tomorrow. You've given them the confidence that they need. The knowing that they need, the support that they need, low self-esteem, it doesn't even exist in our group. I am ecstatic, I'm excited, it's done wonders for my Sarai, who is my granddaughter, who has great, great expectations, as all of you guys do, every single one of you, and together, we are powerful. The, the girls' circle attracts a wide range of girls. We've had young ladies sitting in the room with girls that may have been bullied by girls that may have done bullying. So what we've heard from parents saying that she feels better about school. She smiles more. She's not afraid to speak up. I see her speaking up when her brother says something that she doesn't like. I think um, the mothers, the, I had a mother talk about how her daughter's dressing a little differently, a mm. little more conservative. Mm. Girls who, instead of maybe getting in a fight, they find the clinicians who now may be spending more time with a girl that may not be on her caseload. Instead of just arguing and getting upset, they remember something that was said, and then the parents make the connection. This is some of what was said in those, in those groups that you guys do. <laughs> <they don't, laughs> you <know. clears throat> So parents, we're getting feedback. We see it as a clinician. That's what I enjoy. I see it sometimes directly when a girl walks away from a fight, you know, makes those adjustments. And when parents tell us, we, we like to hear it. Yes. So we do get those, that, those words mm -hmm. of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is there anything else we want to talk about before we close out? I look forward to seeing them on the 22nd of May. Okay, where? Hope they can come to the First Reformed Church, the Assembly Hall in the Stockade and at 7 p.m. Okay, um, okay, this has been wonderful to have you, Joanne and Ebony, on our show today. And I thank you for the message and for the work that you're doing. Our mm -hmm. girls are so in need of mentors mm -hmm. and so in need of identity to know who they are and to have this voice that mm -hmm. has been missing for so long. And I think what you guys are doing is raising girls. Girls are right. rising <laughs> in the capital region because thank of you. you. And so I thank you very much for being a part of our show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for watching the Rolf Reporter segment of Impact. I hope you have learned something very important about this program and that you go out to support the program on the 22nd, Air in Schenectady. I'm your Rolf Reporter, Hulda Thompson. See you next time. Proctors, bringing the best in arts, education, and entertainment.